So hi, hello everyone. Welcome to the channel. And today we will see the code editor in Google Earth Engine. So to act as the code editor in Google Earth Engine, go to the option called Platform and go to the option called Code Editor. So this is the code editor section in Google Earth Engine. So a code editor is an API, an application programming interface where you can access the Earth Engine library, library of data or planetary geospatial data on the cloud using JavaScript, also the Python script. So now let us look at the each part of the code editor. So here in the code editor, you can write script programs. So here you can access the information and you can export maps and import maps. So there is a various applications for a code editor. So we're going to use a Java API script for in Google Earth Engine. So let me start with the basics. So let's get started. So now let me uh, start with the basics. Now let me enter print. Let me choose this print. Hello everyone. So make sure that you click this use the colon option. So in JavaScript we have to use the symbol for execution of this command. So now let me run this. I have uh, entered as hello everyone. So let me run this. So now you can see that the output is displayed in console section. So now on the right side, you can uh, see that we have three different options like inspector, console, and task. Now let me explain about inspector. So the inspector that helps to inspect the location, pixel values, and other, other elements in the map or the layers. On uh, clicking this inspector uh, option, if you click on this map or a layer, it will show the information about that layer or a map. So now let me click this. So you can see that we get uh, information about latitude, longitude, the zoom level, and even the scale has been displayed in the inspector section. So suppose, uh, let me click here. We have the latitude and the longitude information about this area. So let me click here. So we have uh, again the latitude and longitude of location uh, of that region. So that is being displayed in the inspector section of Google Earth Engine. So this is how you, uh, you can use the inspector tool to get information, uh, get information on the map or the layer you have imported. So in this case, I have not imported any of the maps or uh, shape files. I'm just using this uh, details of the this base map. So we have information of different black long location of that. So in case Nevada, we have a uh, different uh, lat long locations. So let me show you other options. So the next tool that is available is is console. So here it is. So console is generally used for to, to display the output of your scripts. Suppose I'm using as a print hello everyone as my uh, script in Java. So suppose I want to run this. Let me click run button. So it displays as a hello everyone. So this is the output for the script. So it usually displays the error and output of your script. The next tool that is available here it is task. The task manager it generally shows the progressive of your uh, progressiveness of your activity. So suppose if you have uh, if you have uh, exported your data into the into the Google Earth engine, and you can able to monitor the progress progressive activity of the your works. So in this section that we used to monitor the activity, the progressive activities, the task manager. Now uh, this section it is uh, this section, this map section that is called as a layer manager. So where you can able to drag the map, you can zoom in, zoom out, and you can even change the 
convert to a satellite image. So we can able to see that we have converted to a, a satellite image. So let me convert to a map. So there is also there is also another option. On clicking this map, you have another option called terrains. So in this way, you can able to see the terrain details. So let me turn off this. Uh, let me show you here. So let me turn on this. So you can able to see the terrain details very clearly. So now in the left uh, left hand side, we have two different options called we have a plus and minus sign. So this used to zoom in and zoom out. So now let me show you to zoom in. So now you can able to see that we are zooming in. So suppose if you want to zoom out, you can uh, click this minus option. So now we have a uh, we have five different option options here. And these options are called as uh, geometric tools. So in this way, you can effectively digitize your uh, the required study area that you wanted to do digitize it. So you can also able to create a point feature, a line feature, and polygon feature using these above options. So now let me show you that option. So here you can able to uh, create a point, a line data and a polygon feature and you can able to even uh, create a, a rectangular shape. So we have point, line and polygons. So you can, you can create a point feature, line feature and a polygon feature. So now let me uh, click this. So let me uh, choose an uh, area. So let me choose this terrain area. Now let me start digitizing it. So it is similar to an RGS and uh, QGIS. Uh, we can digitize it. So let me uh, digitize it faster. So in this way, you can able to digitize the any area you required it using the Zabo option, point line and polygons. So uh, I will so you can able to see that on creating a polygon, you can uh, there is a automatically uh, the 32 vertices and polygon with the 32 vertices has been created here. So suppose if you want to delete this feature, all you have to do is go to the option called this geometry imports and on going to the, this option, have a sitting uh, icon, click that. So uh, in this, suppose you want to delete, click this delete option. Okay. So the feature is gone. So one of the important feature in uh, Google Earth Engine there is the script, the script manager that is available in the here. So the important feature of this uh, script, uh, it is uh, suppose you are creating uh, several uh, scripts of program, uh, you can able to save this uh, in this uh, script option and further you can also uh, share it to your friends. So in this way, a script can able to save and share your uh, work. The next option is uh, that is docs. So uh, in docs, you can able to access uh, several algorithms for your uh, workflows. Uh, you can access uh, many algorithms that is uh, provided in this section. So the third option is uh, it is called as an asset manager. So in this asset uh, manager, you can able to import a data into a Google Earth engine. Suppose if you have any uh, satellite data or any shape files, you can able to import into this Google Earth Engine. You can uh, go to this option called Asset. So, so this option called as a Get Link. Suppose if you want to share your work to others or your friends or colleagues, 
you can able to click this button as get link where you can able to use this code and uh, share this code to your friends and uh, in this way they can access your work so suppose uh, the next uh, option is called as save so we can save as or save with the description suppose we are doing your progressiveness of your work can be saved using this option called save so it can be saved as uh, two options with save as or with a description so the next option that is available it is uh, it is called the run so in this way uh, the run option is used to uh, run the script suppose i have enter enter the script called print hello everyone so now let me run this so let me click this option so now we can able to see that uh, the run option has helps to run this script so and displays our output as a hello everyone so finally we have a, another option called reset a reset option simply uh, resets your script suppose uh, let me uh, show you that so reset uh, helps to clear the script that has been written here so let me uh, so you can see that the script has been completely cleared using this option called reset so in this video i have shown you the different tool that has been available in uh, google earth engine and shown you the how to change the uh, from a map to a satellite image and from a map to a terrain data you can obtain a terrain data and shown you a different option that is being available in this google earth engine and showed you the how to what we can digitize in google earth engine so this course we have uh, started from uh, everyone can learn this it is for uh, we are starting from the basics so make sure that you uh, subscribe to our channel and follow us so thanks for watching